has to be corruption. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable members, allow me to welcome uh, the, the youngest member of this house, the Honorable, the Honorable John Juguna Wanjiku, the member for Kiamba, to make his uh, maiden uh, address to the house. You are most welcome to the house, the Honorable John. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Let me start by saying I rise to support the second view. Yes, the Honorable John, just keep your mask on, okay. please. Yes, and you will not be interrupted during your, your speech. <laughs> thank, thank so you. take your time. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I start by saying I rise to support the second leading of this, of this bill, and I would like to make uh, some contributions towards it. Mr. Speaker, the majority of low-income Kenyans lack medical insurance, forcing to pay hospital bills out of pockets, leaving families vulnerable in the face of high treatment costs. It is from this background that I stand here to support the, this bill. This is because informal workers who are currently paying 500 shillings in the NHF monthly contribution will be cut to 300 shillings making the scheme affordable to the low-income card who, who, are, who constitute a majority of the hustlers in this country. This move should help set as many people in the category as possible so as to afford them the opportunity to enjoy in the aspiration of UHHC. Uh, I recall that uh, informal workers paid 350 in a monthly contribution before the late I increased to 500 uh, six years ago, a move meant to boost NHIF corrections from the informal sector. However, this has been uh, uh, counterproductive due to aff uh, affordability, thus lacking out access by the same group. This is a group whose daily troubles include access to food, thus they cannot gain, be trapped into a high monthly subscription. subscription. Thus, I round the intention of this bill, which is to ensure that many Kenyans, particularly, particularly persons who are in the informal sectors and those who are who not working, cannot afford to pay NHF contribution by reducing the rates from the current 500 per month to 300 shillings. Lowering of the monthly contribution will also help address the pain induced by coronavirus, induced by layoffs and salary cuts, which have forced more than half of NHF active members to stop paying premiums. Mr. Speaker, today being my, I therefore support being the, my first day, I would like to digress a little bit and also take this opportunity to thank the great people of Kiamba, you know, for believing in me and for supporting me and, uh, and trusting me with their votes. Mr. Speaker, I want to say that there are quite a number of challenges that we face during the by-election, but apart from that, I also want to take this opportunity to thank so many people, especially members from Kiamba constituency, starting with all the way from Shianda, Karuri, to Moshada Ward, to uh, Kihara Ward, and Bendelo. And I really want to thank them for believing in me and for entrusting me with their votes. And I want to uh, state categorically and I also want to tell them that I'll be here to support and also to work so that I can ensure that I honor the promises that I made to the people of Kiamba. Mr. Speaker, I would also want to uh, uh, thank special people who came in to support us. I want to say so take this opportunity to support the uh, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, being the Chief Crack Hustler, for believing in a hustler like me, a chicken intestine vendor who did not have a father or who did not have a name, who did not have a big name, but he believed in me and he gave me an opportunity and also to mentor in a cause and also uh, several causes that he made to ensure that we are praying and also to support me morally for ensuring that at the end of the day, we are doing our campaign and we ensured that we deliver, you know, the Kiambasi to the Hustler Nation. I seriously appreciate 
and thank the deputy president. Secondly, there are other hustlers generally from the Republic of Kenya who are supporting the hustler mo uh, nation and hustler narrative. Generals from this house, starting from uh, Mweshimua Honorable Dede Nyoro, Mweshimua Kimani Shongwa, Mweshimua Regade Gashagua, Mweshimua George Karioki, Mweshimua Jen Kihara, and also for supporting me and believing also in me. They gave me an opportunity to market myself to the Kiamba people, to sell my ideas, some of them being ensuring that we will ensure that we give Basali to the people of Kiamba in a transparency manner that has never happened before. Ensuring that we're going to increase, you know, increase and ensure that we, we, we ensure that we, uh, we ensure that uh, we, we, we model and uh, we build schools that will help the Kiamba people so that at the end of the day we can be able to take our kids to a good environment where our students and our, our children will be going to school too. I also want to take this opportunity to thank the UDA party. They gave me an opportunity without asking me a million and one questions. I would want to thank the Madam SG, Veronica Maina, you know, because the first day that there was a by-election, I went to her office and she believed in me and gave me an opportunity, you know, to be heard. And from that, today is a story. Today, I'm a member of parliament for Kiamba, a constituency that you have never had an opportunity you know, to erect a young member of parliament, being the first young member of parliament from Kiamba constituency. I take that opportunity to thank them. I also want to thank the women of Kenya, and especially for Kiamba. It is the first time uh, the single mothers from Kiamba constituencies, I want to tell them that it doesn't matter the challenges that you are facing today. It doesn't matter as you bring up those young kids. It doesn't matter who is their father. It doesn't matter where the, fa the families that they come from, but I want to encourage them that wherever they are, and this one I also want to sincerely thank my, even if she's not around, my late mother, Philomena Wanjiko Karanja, you know, for believing in me also and also giving me an opportunity and also bringing in, me up in a manner that, uh, you know, other kids, you know, are being brought up in. So I want to take that opportunity to thank the women of this great republic and tell them that they can still their children, they can still make it. If I made it to be a member of parliament for Kiamba, it doesn't matter where you are coming from. One day, as long as you have a dream, as long as you have a vision, as long as you have something, you have your faith in God, one day you will be, you become what you believe in. I will also thank the Almighty God, you know, for keeping me alive and also for ensuring that the kind of a direction that we witnessed in Kiamba constituency, Mr. Speaker. I take this opportunity to seriously and uh, condemn, you know, that uh, the government for bringing up machinalists that we have never witnessed before in Kiamba. Kiamba election is a very peaceful area. We have never had, uh, you know, uh, violence before. But some of the cars, the chiefs being in uniforms, coming to bribe people. And I would like to ask the government of the Republic of Kenya, allow Kenyans to make their own decision when it comes their democratic right to erect the readers that they want them they want the, them to represent them whether in parliament whether in the national assembly whether in the senate or whether it is the president let us give the kenyans an opportunity to democratically exercise their democratic right without influencing and i sincerely thank the kiamba people because even after all those intimidations that happened during the election day they did not bow down to pressure they did not bow down, you know, to victimization. They decided and they erected me as their member of parliament with UDA uh, ticket. I, 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 I thank uh, all the people of Kiamba. I take this opportunity to also thank, you know, this hustler nation in the whole Republic of Kenya. And I want to tell them, if they had any doubt that the hustler nation is lil, I'm a good example, Mr. Speaker, that the hustler nation is lil. I was a chicken intestine vendor. I got an opportunity. I had a dream that I never thought that maybe one day I'll be a member of parliament. And today God has made it possible. So the Hustler Nation, and when it all start talking about bottom-up uh, thing or economics, it is true that you can start from somewhere and you become something in this Republic of Kenya. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I stand to support.
You are most welcome to the house, the Honorable Wanjiko. And uh, thank you for believing in the beauty of your dreams. And I wish you well. I also wish the people of Kiamba well as you lead them. May God bless you. We shall have now contribution from the Honorable Obo Mohammed, member for Lamu. She is not in the house. Uh, the Honorable Mizigi Mneni, member for Taita. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And uh, from the onset, I wish to take this opportunity to congratulate the newest kid on the block in Parliament. 